Hello, my Aquarians. My name is Psychic Gigi. Welcome back for your bi-weekly mini love reading for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Please like, share, and subscribe. My information is listed below if you would like a private, in-depth, general um, love reading from me. Okay, so we're going to be doing a, a general love reading from September 1st to September 15th for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, and Rising. I've already shuffled the cards, so we're just going to jump right into our reading here. So, the first card I have is the Ten of Swords Reverse. So, guys, with the Ten of Swords Reverse, the type of energy I'm getting is you guys are pretty much coming out of that difficult period where you felt like you were just completely defeated. Um, things just weren't working the way that you kind of wanted. There might have been some recent breakups with some of my Aquarius, and there also might be um, a sense of... You are now starting to rise above some of the problems or issues that you've been dealing with and around the matters of your love life. So you've survived the disaster, basically, is what I'm going to say. So the next card that we have is the Five of Pentacles, and that's upright. So again, this is a confirmation stating that you guys are kind of feeling alone, like you are just out there dealing with, you know, your emotions and... Now you're starting to come back from the brink of, of either a failure of a relationship or just maybe you decided to walk away from a relationship that was no, you felt was no longer, um, you weren't able to feel like that, you know you can come back from it. Um, the next card we have is the Four of Cups. It's, again, reverse. So uh, this is basically... Again, guys, you guys are coming back out. You're rejoining the world after feeling defeated, feeling left out on your own, whether you're in a current relationship with somebody or you're opening up the communication again. It's just there's been a stagnated energy around you. You felt pretty defeated, but now you're starting to come back out. Um, whether you're going to get ready to move on to um, moving into a new relationship or kind of working on your... Um, I feel like some of you have really had a bad breakup. And you're now moving out. You're like rejoining the world. You are letting go of some of the things. It's like a period of detachment um, and also coming out of that period of solitude. The next card I have is the Six of Swords. Upright for you guys. Aquarians, again, you guys are walking into more calmer waters. You're going towards that little island that, you know, is more peaceful and a little bit more calm type of energy. You're moving... Um, out of a difficult period of time, there's a lot of healing that's going around. I get some more stability, but I'm also getting some open communication when I'm getting this. Um, so this could be you opening up that communication or and or your partner. Then And you're also going to do it because we have the um, we have the Ace of Swords right here. So you're, it's like this is a new opportunity. This is a new beginning. Some of you might be meeting somebody new. Um, and this is where you've decided, okay, I'm going to rejoin the world because this person's pretty interesting and I'm going to take a look at it. Others are just going to start opening up the communication. Maybe you have some new creative ideas of how to approach your, your, your current relationship. But I also get there's going to be a lot of truth in this situation. So the truth is going to surface and I get breakthroughs for you guys. So even if you've been feeling a little bit foggy and things have just been like blah, you're now coming out of that, um... But I want you to be mindful because we do have the chariot reversed, which is a major arcana. Um, with this being reversed, you might not get that complete breakthrough, but it is, it's telling, you know, I feel like the message here is that we do need to slow down. Don't jump in too fast, even though we feel like it's, it's a lot calmer. Um, but just make sure that you're, you know, kind of getting what you need out of the relationship as well. So try not to push it too far, too fast. Like it's, there's a need for patience and also a time to kind of rebuild your confidence um, and just allow the progress of your relationship to just unfold naturally as opposed to, you know, diving in too quick, too fast, and then it's like fall quick, fall fast. So at the bottom of the deck, we have the lovers reversed. This could be you and or your partner. I feel like some of my Aquarians are going to pull their energy back in regards to relationship and just kind of enjoy that fun, rejoining the world, you know, focusing on themselves, being a little bit more creative, but also with that mental clarity that you guys are coming, you know, you're coming out of that period and you're, you have some mental clarity in regards to your love relationships. But with this being reversed, the, the lovers being reversed, it could be you and or your partner. It might be a little bit distant um, or one of you might be a little too emotionally invested. So... 
where the other one is not, which is creating some type of turmoil in around relationships for you guys. So just make sure that you're not jumping from one relationship to the next. Another important message, if that's what some of you are doing, because you do have that new exciting beginning as you join, rejoin the world, if you meet somebody new, just take it slowly. Okay, so let's go ahead and do a romance oracle angel card for my Aquarian Sun, Moon, and Rising September 1st through September 15th. Let's see what we have here. Okay, so enjoy. Some of you might be traveling. We did have that, that one travel, but this is like a honeymoon period. I feel like a lot of you are going to be meeting somebody new or you're getting back into that honeymoon period of your relationship where, you know, just enjoy the moment, be mindful in the moment. So that's a really important message for you guys. Let's go ahead and do the final Oracle Angel card and see what our spirit guides would like us to know. Okay, Joy, again, this is a really a good period for Aquarius. Um, I feel like you guys have been through the worst and now you're moving into a much happier, peaceful, Part. like you're, you're feeling more joyful again so it's in the honeymoon phase you're getting the bliss out of it so you are being fulfilled on an emotional level but you're also spreading joy as well so choose to focus more on things that bring you joy and like you'll naturally start to be you know feel that energy moving forward with you guys um, and also it's really important the more joy that you see Send out the more joy you receive. So it's also about giving and taking and making sure that both parties are on this same harmless level. Um, but again, just you know, make sure that you're happy and this is what you want. Um, I feel things are going to be pretty magical for you guys for the next two weeks because I feel like there's a lot of heart energy, light energy. And just fun. Okay, Aquarius, thank you so much for sh watching my video. Please like, share, and subscribe. Also, if you would like a more private, in-depth reading, especially regarding those the people who have had new loves coming into their lives, please um, go ahead and contact me. My information is listed below. Love and light.